Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to design the Titan 1M in Mastercam. Oh, this is gonna be good. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna prompt you to actually download the documents that we've supplied. So you have setup sheets, you have inspection documentation and the prints. The prints are what we're gonna use right now. So are you guys ready to learn some Mastercam? Let's make this happen. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is draw a rectangle. First thing you'll see is you have three different prints. You can find the rectangle on sheet one of three of the Titan 1M print. So it gives us the dimensions for the rectangle and the thickness of the part, and that's all we need. Okay, so we're gonna go up here to wireframe, click this guy, come over to rectangle, grab this. Now I'm simply gonna come down I'm going to click right here in the center of my work coordinates. Boom. I'm going to extend. Now here's a trick. I'm going to actually hit caps. And then when you actually look way over here, you see width and height for my rectangle. I can actually get in the position and then my width right here, I can simply hit W. So capital W. And as soon as I do that, it highlights. I look at my print, I can see four inches. There we go, four inches. I'll tab down. Now I'm at height. I'm gonna go negative 1.9. Now I'm gonna click it. Now I'm gonna simply come back over here. I'm gonna say okay. That's it, I got a rectangle. Now I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna say fit. Now it simply fills up my screen with the rectangle. I'm just gonna use my scroller just to move it down just a little bit. Boom, all right, so that's a nice size. Now let's actually make a model. So I'm gonna come up here to solids, boom. I'm gonna hit extrude. So as soon as I hit extrude, this guy for chaining popped up, okay? So it wants to know what do I want to extrude? So I'm simply going to click this guy right here. And as soon as I click it, because I'm on full chain and not partial, it's gonna actually chain the entire box. So I click it, boom, there you go, all right? Now, that is the chain that I want, so I'm simply gonna say okay. All right, so now I can actually flip it around a little bit, move it around. So if I hit the Shift key, I can just grab it move it, rotate it, all right. So I'm looking at the thickness here and I can see that it's at a half an inch. So I'm simply going to change it per my drawing. And I'm gonna go to 0.75, enter, and instantly you see it get thicker. All right, so that looks good, okay? I look at my X going this direction, my Y going this direction, and my Z going up, and I like it. It puts it right in the upper left corner now let me show you something if i wanted this zero to be on the bottom like sometimes we do with five axis and different parts i could actually hit this guy boom and it just switches it it reverses it all right but that's not what i want to do so i'm going to click it again this is what i want this is the direction everything looks perfect so i'm just going to hit okay check and there you go now i'm going to right click I'm gonna say top view. And now let's go ahead and go to sheet two of three and start putting in the holes. So I'm simply gonna come up here. I'm gonna say hole. Now I'm gonna look at my print. I see 1032s. And I know from my setup sheet that I'm gonna actually be using a roll tap, a form tap. And the drill size is 0.177. So that's what I'm gonna use, all right? And when I look at my depth of thread, it's at 380. So I'm actually going to bypass that 380 by 200 thousandths, okay, for this model. So I'm going to go 580, and it says 580 right here, so I'm already there. Look at that. 118 is fine for the bottom angle, so I'm going to simply tab down, tab down. I'm going to come down here for my diameter, and as we said, we're at 177. Boom, boom. For my drill size, and there you go. 
Now there's a top chamfer over here and we do want to chamfer our holes. So whenever you have a thread, you always have a chamfer or a lead in. So for a 1032 thread, we're going to go about 10% of the diameter of the thread. So the thread is at 0.190. So we're going to add 19 thousandths to that. So that'll be 209. So I'll go 0 0.209, come down. Then I'm going to use a 45 degree or also known as a 90 degree included angle chamfer to actually spot these holes to make way for the drill. All right, so now I'm going to hit the position. Hit this guy. Now all I have to do is actually look at my print, orientate the print so my zeros are in the upper left as seen in this video. And then I'm simply going to start documenting my locations. So now the first dimension is going to be X. All I'm going to hit is 0.15. And see this guy up here? It just pops up. Boom. So that's 0.15. Then I hit a comma. And now it's ready for the Y position. So now I'm going to go negative 0.15. I'm going to hit enter. And you can see this guy right here. This point just arrived. Now let's go down here and actually put the point here. So I'm going to repeat the process. 0.15 comma negative 1.75 enter. There you go. Now per print, let's jot this one down. So I'm going to go 1.15 comma minus 0.3 enter. There you go. Now let's go to this location. 2 point comma negative 1.216. Boom. Next, 2.85 comma negative 0.3. There you go. Next, 3.85 comma negative 0.15. Now the last, 3.85 comma negative 1.75. Now all I have to do is hit enter one more time. And there you go. Now I'm going to grab the model. I'm going to tilt it. And now you can see the holes perfectly in place. All right, so now I'm going to hit the check. Done. So now let's actually go to sheet three of three and actually put the pockets in. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to wireframe and then we're going to go to offset. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to hit chain because I want to do the entire rectangle, which is going to bring my wireframe chain box back up. And now I'm simply going to click this guy one time and it chains the entire rectangle, which is exactly what I want. So I'm going to hit OK. Now, which side do I want to offset this rectangle? The inside. And then if I look at my print, I can see 0.300 typical. So that means that it's typical all the way around. So I'm simply going to click here. Boom. And there you go. You got the rectangle on the inside right here. I'm going to go look at the distance. It actually says 500. I'm going to change that to 300. So 0.3. I can put 0, 0. It really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to tab through it. I'm going to hit the check. Boom. That's exactly what I wanted. Now I'm going to actually do a line down here, which is going to position a radius for the triangle that's coming up. All right. So I'm going to go back to offset. I'm just going to hit offset up here. And then I'm going to say offset this line. And if I look at my print, I see the dimension is 1.65 on the lower left, which positions itself right about here which is going to be the center of the radius that's 0.195. So I'm going to click this side. Boom. It gives me my line right here. I'm going to go to distance over here. I'm going to say 1.65. Enter. And it drops down here. All right, so now I have this line down here. I'm going to simply come up here, hit the check mark. Boom. We're ready to go. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and do the radiuses around these diameters. So I'm going to come up. I'm going to hit this guy right here. I'm going to change the radius size to 0.313. 
I'm gonna tap so the diameter locks in. Now one thing I'll point out is this lock needs to be locked right here because I'm gonna do a few different diameters and then I'm gonna move on and I wanna make sure that whatever I do is precisely at 0.313, okay? So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna hit this guy and because this is locked, I can just simply come over here, hit this guy. Now I'm gonna come down and I'm actually gonna change my diameter. So what I need to do is actually come up and say, okay, create new. Now I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna go 0.188, tab. And I'm gonna come down here, lock into this point, boom. Again, I'm gonna come up, I'm gonna say next. All right, now we're gonna drop in the radius down here. So the radius is 0.195. So I'm gonna change this guy, 0.195, tab. Now I'm gonna click on the line, just get close. Oh, see it? You get close to the center and it'll show you the center and then I just wanna click it. Boom. Now, all of that looks good. So I'm gonna simply come up here and say, okay, done. Now we're gonna come in and actually do these tangent lines coming off, okay? So I'm gonna come up here. I'm just gonna hit this guy, line endpoints. Now what's really cool is I can come down, I can click this, boom. So I'm actually gonna come down this way. I'm gonna hit A for angle, boom. 225 for my angle size, tab. It locks in place. I'm gonna make sure this guy is actually locked. Come back, click here. Now guess what? Now I'm simply gonna come and hit this guy and do the same thing, come across, boom. All right, so just like the radiuses, I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna say, okay. Now I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna hit 315, 315 point, and then we're gonna hit this guy. We're gonna come this way, now I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna hit this guy, come down, I'm gonna click it, and that looks beautiful. All right, so now I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna say top, boom, okay? Now let's clean it up, okay? So let's actually come up here. We're gonna hit this guy, boom. It's gonna allow us to trim and delete these lines. So I'm gonna hit here, I'm gonna hit here, hit here, boom, 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 boom. Ah, oh, tick, tick, ah. Oh. So I'm gonna come down here. Come down here, here, here. Now watch this, this whole line is gonna disappear. That guy, that guy, that guy. This guy, that little one right there, little one right there, little one right there. This guy, this guy, boom, boom. All right, there you go, looks good. Now, let's go ahead and uh, do a few things. I'm gonna rotate this guy up. Now it's important, this line right here, you gotta make sure it's broken, all right? See how it says break up here? You can actually break this line to this line if it's not broken. Like if this is just one chain going across, you can break it here. But it needs to be broken, so you can actually click around to extrude this triangle, all right, very important. I'm gonna say break, boom. This guy, this guy, this guy. Then I'll actually take this guy, I'm just gonna delete it. Then I'm gonna create another line, go from here, unlock this guy, come to this guy, boom. Say okay. Now I'm gonna go to model, Say extrude, click this guy, to this guy, to this guy. Now I'm gonna click this guy, boom. Now I'm gonna accept it, and there you go. Now it says create body. We're not trying to create a body, we're trying to cut a body. So we're gonna cut these guys. It goes right through as you can see. So I'm gonna say the distance is not 7.5, which would be all through. Instead it's 0.5. So I'm gonna say okay, looks good, check, and there you go. 
All right, so now the solid model is looking pretty good. All right, so you can see the solid, you can see the wireframe. It's all kind of interlocked. And later I'm going to show you how to actually turn the wireframe off so you don't have to look at it, okay? But uh, right now, let's actually go and put all the radiuses now that we have it in solid form. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go fill it. Pops this guy up. So I'm simply going to start hitting all the different places that I have a fillet. So I have a 0.195 fillet here, 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 here. I'm going to actually turn it, rotate it here, here, here. Flip it around here, 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 and here. All right. So I'm going to hit the check right here. Boom. It says 10 thousandths. So I'm going to change that to 0.195. There you go. Enter. Boom. And everything's coming together. All right. So since we're in radius mode, let's go up here and say, let's do another one. Now let's hit this guy. Let's hit this guy this guy, flip it, this guy, look at page one of our print and you'll see radius 0.01, so 10 thousandths. So I'm going to say, okay, right here, I'm going to change this guy, 0.1 tab, there you go. Now I'm going to accept it and there you go. All right. Now, the only thing that we have left is actually the chamfers around the parts. So if you look at the notes on the print, you can see that it says, remove all burrs and break edges 10 thousandths unless otherwise specified. So that means anything that's dimensioned, don't worry about it, but any corners that's not dimensioned, go ahead and make a 10 thousand chamfer and you're gonna be good. Okay, so let's do that. So we're gonna come up here, we're gonna hit chamfer. Now I'm gonna come down. I'm going to do this entire surface right here. So I'm going to hit the shift key, hold it down. And then all of a sudden the whole chain comes all the way around. Same thing. I'm going to hit this guy, but I'm going to hold the shift key down. Gets that guy. Then it gets this guy. Then down below, I'm going to get that guy. Now I can turn it to double check it and it looks great. Okay. So now I'm going to hit check. There you go. It's already got 10 thousandths. So that's good. So let's hit the check mark up here. Boom. Oh man, look at it. It looks good. It looks good. Okay. So these lines are kind of bothering me a little bit. All right. So if you come down to this little circle way down on the bottom down here, you can see like if I click it, you can see the wireframe right there. All right. I want that to disappear. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to go back to solid and then come over here to levels. Now, when you look at our drawing, everything is off of level one. Okay, you can see 30 entities right here. So what I'm going to do is actually create another level. So I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to make it two. I'm going to tab down. I'm going to say wireframe. I still got it in caps, but it's fine. Now, automatically, you can see wireframes up here. Now, if I bring this over, you can see visible. All right, so everything's visible. So how do we separate the model from the wireframe? Come to this side of the screen. As you drop down, you can come here and it says select all wireframe entities. So I say select, boom, all right, all the wireframe is selected. Now I'm going to right click. I'm going to click right here, change level. So I'm going to hit that guy and this box appears. And it automatically had level two and wireframe. So I'm okay with that. So I'm going to say, okay, boom. Now I come over here, click this, and I turn this one off. Oh man, it's gone. Check it out. So there you go. That is how you design the Titan 1M in CAD using Mastercam. So the next video is actually going to show you how to program the Titan 1M using it cam in master cam you guys have a great day this is titan i'm out boom